I think everyone knows how it feels to not belong when you walk into a room. And I prayed and prayed for God to send godly people to be around me. And my roommate is Renee Erickson, who then got me involved with the Statesman Academy and changed my life. I didn't have any idea that I would end up in politics. Um, you know, going from a profession that is ranked consistently as one of the most trusted to consistently one that is the most not trusted was, was not something that I had thought of doing, but I just felt that that's where I could serve and that that's where God was telling me to go. Not only did, did he give me Renee, but to my left is Susan Humphreys, who is an incredible Christian woman. Absolutely had no thought of being a politician. I've always been interested in policy. I've been interested in public figures. My husband and I were somewhat involved in some of our congressional races behind the scenes, but didn't think that I personally was gonna be involved in a race. You tend to feel very isolated as a conservative Christian. We're constantly being told that uh, we don't have the right to voice our religious opinions, that it's somehow disrespectful or hateful to others. And when I went to this Statesman Academy, suddenly I was surrounded by legislators from across the country who were open about their beliefs and willing to share. And we took what we learned, we took our motivation and carried it back to our states to make that impact and to see that work continuing is, is just incredible. It strengthened our relationships to the point where all they have to do is just kind of look at you like, I need to talk to you in the hallway. And we get a battle plan together. There's a lot of people that I can count on to pray with me, to lead me, to do Bible study together. And there's strength in numbers their strength in the prayers, and we have prayed on the floor, and I'm not sure they've seen a lot of that with a group of legislators that sit together. I feel like Christians should be the leaders in any field that we're in. We have excellent standards and biblical principles of integrity and honesty and compassion and love and faith, those are all things that are helpful for everybody. We've got to be bold and to speak with love and not anger, even on issues we don't agree about. And I think it's particularly important for us to show that light that we've received and encourage others to stand up for their faith. Mm -hmm.